Okay, so the last time we uh, <coughs> we were just to the point where we're getting ready to uh, install our first config. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Voron GitHub. And we're going to go to firmware. We are going to go to Clipper. We're going to go to Clipper 2.1 Clipper. We're going to go to configurations. Now you'll see there's a uh, several configurations here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use mine. And let's just go ahead and view this file here. All right, so we're going to copy and paste this into Clipper. Uh, well, the, what we're going to do, there's multiple ways of doing this. Uh, I'm going to show you the way I like to because this will help you out in the future when you're working on your uh, configs. So we're going to use Notepad++. Uh, I haven't really talked about it, but uh, go ahead and you can just Google Notepad++. I'll have a link in the description uh, on to uh, the site to go ahead and get it. No matter what operating system you are working on, you want to install the 32-bit version. And the reason for that is not all the plugins are compatible with the 64-bit version. The ones we are using are, but uh, when you want to get into some other edge case scenarios, uh, the 32-bit version is just going to save you a lot of headache in the future. So open up Notepad++. Uh, we're going to go to Plugins. We're going to go to Plugin Admin. Uh, in here, what you want to look for is, I already have it installed, NPP FTP. So you just type in up here. NPP FTP and it will show up here and you're available you will highlight it and then you will hit install up here and then you'll see it show up in your installed section uh, looks like I don't have any updates uh, once that is done you'll want to view that uh, I already had it open uh, but what you do is you come up here to plugins notepad FTP show so plugins, Notepad FTP, show the NT, NPP FTP window. We need to make uh, a profile for your printer. I already have mine in here, uh, but this is for my main Voron. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new one, and we're going to call this Clipper Video. Okay. We need our actual uh, IP address. 192.168.1.2 Oh, I already forgot what our Voron was on. Um, I gotta look real quick. 242. We're gonna change this to SFTP, that's Secure FTP. Uh, you can go ahead and put your uh, username and password in here. Pi. Good, it is. And then your password. I don't like turning on ask for password, but if you feel like you need to, uh, go ahead and do that. And then go ahead and hit close. Now we'll come up here and we will connect to Clipper Video. Again, it's just like PuTTY, uh, the security key uh, is unknown because it's not a signed key. We're going to go ahead, yes, we accept it. We know the risks. All right, uh, I'm going to take this file here I'm going to copy the whole thing mm -hmm. the clipper directory here's where all the example configs are right you can open up pretty much any one of these we'll go ahead and open up the kit Voron one this is for the Voron 2.0 so we don't necessarily want to use it but what we can do is go to Pi and we can upload see now my upload is there that's most weird why I did that. Go ahead and rename this file. Printer.cfg. I'm going to close that. I copy all this and close that. I'm going to double click. I'm going to bring that file in. And I'm going to paste over it. Sorry for all that. I don't know why it wouldn't let me upload it. That was weird. But anyway. Now we have our config loaded. We need to make our config uh, able to see the Arduinos. 
So we're going to use these, we, which we grabbed earlier. Um, but this is using uh, this ls dev by ID list by ID. I'm going to go ahead and copy this one. And then over here, I'm going to put it by after the ID. Paste. So notice that it looks real similar to the ones I already have because, well, it was my config. Oops. Hit and control C uh, inside putty is not paste. All right, they're two different ones. The IDs are different. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to hit save. And then we're going to restart Clipper. Sudo, how do I spell it right? Sudo service Clipper restart. It, it'll restart our Clipper. All right, now we're in our Octoprint. Let's go over to Terminal and hit Connect and see what happens. I'll type in status. We have an ADC out of range. So I happen to only have one. I'm going to suppress these temperature messages. I only have one thermistor attached to this. I'm pretty sure I have it attached to my hot end, so we'll go find the bed. And we're going to comment out the bed. Once I find it, here we go, heater bed. I'm just going to select everything here. Right click, block comment. Now it's all commented out. Save. We need to restart our clipper. So you can do a help here. It'll tell you the available commands. When you do a firmware restart, it'll reload the config. Hey, I got lucky on that. So do a status. It says our we are ready. So I, I cannot. I don't want to do any movements because I don't have any uh, steppers attached to any of the drivers. But when it comes to temperature, we can see uh, the one thermistor I have hooked up is reading uh, properly, and it is now communicating. Uh, when we go back to terminal, when I do a help, it'll show all the available commands that are available which is a heck of a lot more because it depends on how you have stuff configured. All your G-code macros um, are in there. And uh, yeah, so what we have done is we took a config. We've put the ID in there. Uh, we grabbed our ID through listing dev serial by, by ID, not by path. Uh, if when you do a by ID like this, and he shows just a single line, but you have two Arduinos hooked up, you're going to go by path. So I hit up the up arrow to bring up my last command. I can cycle through all the commands that I've done. I'm going to go ahead and just delete. I'm going to go to by. I'm going to hit tab a few times. And we want by path. So type in by. by path, enter, and now I can change, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it for you just to show you. Oh, because I didn't, <laughs> I see what I did. So by path, I put the ID in again. I thought, I thought it looked strange, it didn't really change much, I was like, man, Looks real weird. So we're going to go by path. Put the path in there. I'm going to save. We're going to do a firmware restart. Now look at that. We got temperature again. And Clipper is working. 
I know this is a short video, but uh, I believe that uh, you should be up and running now. Uh, in the next video, we'll start covering uh, moving, uh, changing your actual uh, min and max, uh, covering some offsets, and covering uh, some clipper specific things. All right, thank you.